<sighs> Yo guys, what's up? I'm back. <laughs> Before starting this video, I tried looking for manga reviewers who had to read this manga. And to my conclusion, all I have found is like a few French YouTubers discussing this manga here and there. I mean, Japanese YouTubers like talking about this manga, but it's like very briefly. I decided to like promote this manga and hope more people read it. But something about this manga is so special to me that when I first read it in uh, 2018 in university. Damn, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Prisoner Riku, or called Shuji Riku, is a Japanese manga written and illustrated by Shinobu Seguchi, which is published in Shonen Champion. The story of Prisoner Riku is about a 13-year-old Riku sent to Paradise Island Maximum Security Prison for a crime he did not do. The story may sound like a simple prison break story, but what stands out the most of this story is its character development of uh, young Riku. And overall the theme of never giving up. I'll only discuss chapter 1 of this uh, manga and hopefully at the end of this video that you the viewer want, want to give this manga a chance. Sadly the manga doesn't have an official English translation but I'm already reading this manga via fan English translation. Even though this manga was originally finished with uh, 338 chapters, chapter 1, Paradise. For millennia, humans have wished upon the stars, overlapping their hopes and aspirations with the blinking streaks of light during the heavens. And then humans wait in peace and listen. For legends say the will whisper the back about uh, what the future holds for humanity. At night, legends became reality. The stars replied to humanity, not with a whisper, but a thunderous roar. Tokyo decimated by meteor impact. Ten years after the meteor incident, a incident, bunch of brothers are fighting over food in front of Riku's house, I mean house slash car. The boys tried to rob Riku, but uh, Riku wasn't having any of that and demands him to give the food they were fighting for. Riku sees they were fighting over a dead rat and uh, decided to help the boys out. Riku staring at a very modern bakery shop as if the meteor incident didn't even happen in the first place. But turns out on the next page we see, we see the place where the meteor strike in that area of Tokyo, where Riku lived is barricaded by by see-through walls in this part of the city is considered the slum town or the forgotten place of this world. Riku uh, gives up and decide, decide to steal some taiyaki from this shop in this area and wants to share it with the boys and one of himself of course. But he gets immediately robbed and is chasing the robber trying to take back his food. We get this funny chase scene where the robber ran down the stairs on an unstable building and Riku decides to do a giga brain move and try to intercept the robber. So he misjudged the jump but managed to catch himself on time. But the building for some reason uh, couldn't handle uh, Riku's stunt entire building collapses. I don't know how these guys are still alive but at least Riku managed to get the robber. The robber still didn't want to give his back of Taiyaki but out of frustration you see Riku's personality shine and decide he can he can get one Taiyaki for himself which was uh, originally for himself but the rest of it wants to take it back at least so he can give it to, to the kids. The commotion is so bad that the special forces of the slum district showed up in a helicopter and the special force agent uh, confronted Riku that the entire slum town snitched on him and gets to go to jail to the point even the robber blamed the shift on him which apparently he was the father of those kids that Rico right tried now? to help. Now here I was expecting Rico trying to explain himself. He decided to take the blame and uh, admitted it uh, for causing the entire wreck to himself which even surprised the robber since he is the one who initiated the incident at the first place. The special force cop uh, wasn't buying that and uh, was about to do some bru uh, police brutality on a 13 year old boy but the random grenade flew in front of him and the helicopter which they came from also got bombed with their nades in which this distraction got dragged by a police officer he knew and escaped of being, uh, being almost severely beaten. After they went to the police officer's place and drank some juice together, Riku asked the police officer of why he did save him in the first place. The officer said it's quite rare in this town that, that he will help someone, think it's a rare thing he sees it and thinks it's a beautiful thing to have kindness for others. Riku wasn't paying attention and reminded the police officers that it's his birthday today while wearing his police helmet and wants to have a birthday cake and uh, have a good night party. The police officer did, did say he didn't forget about it and starts reminiscing and changing the subject where he find it hard to believe that Riku is 13 years old already. That's where he met Riku 10 years ago when the, when the giant uh, seed for walls didn't even exist yet. But after the meteor incident, the people were in shambles, just like the city and the crime was going on an uh, all-time high. The city government had no choice but to seal the region away from the rest of the civilization with a massive barrier. Instead of cleaning the city, they decided to let it rot on itself. Even with all the bad luck of the slum town area of Tokyo, uh, the police officers still had faith of this slum town and will find a way to get back in track. Of course, our protagonist who is just a kid got mad at the officer and trying to change the subject of wanting to uh, of wanting a birthday cake and ran away. The police officer tried to stop Riku but a car appeared in front of him and a mysterious looking man with slick back hair 
with two burgers uh, goes inside his place the officer tries to pretend that he doesn't know the guy but the slick big uh, slick back here dude caught on his line and showed off a chip with all of the crimes of not only the entire slum town but also the illegal smuggling operation he committed everything is recorded but except one thing the slick back dude wants to know if, if the officer is working for somebody else the officer says he's alone and drops the slick back dude's name kiddo in meanwhile rico realized uh, he was wearing the officer's helmet and decided while going back to the officer's place while going back the officer's place is empty and here's a weird noise coming from the back of the building the next page is the officer getting beaten up by by the bodyguards of, uh, of Kidui and his pistol fan is uh, slid next to Riku Riku while, while being shocked seeing the officer getting beaten up the officers notice Riku is watching and tries to tell Riku to, to get the hell out of here without getting Riku's cover getting blown. Riku obviously panicked and tried to come up with a way to save his friend. He looked at the gun on the ground and the simulation in his head plays. He grabbed the gun and tries to turn on one of the guards and but realistically he would get shot in the head immediately by professionals. He drops the plan and tries to get the help outside and then he hears a gunshot. He, he goes back and sees the officer got shot and he's on the ground. Kiruin and his men are leaving the area but Riku immediately grabbed the gun and on the ground and hit under the officer's desk in time. While hiding, he sees a bag with a birthday cake with the message of officers congratulating Riku for his 13th birthday. Realizing the officer didn't forget his birthday present of Riku, he feels guilty for running away. But Kidoin found him under the desk, but uh, the officer still managed to get up and try to stop Kidoin. But Kidoin shot him uh, again in the stomach. While Kidoin was about to blast the officer's head off while he's on the ground, Riku, mu Riku mustered up the strength to shoot Kidoin. The first shot grazed his face, and the second shot grazed his stomach. While Kidoin is about to turn his manga into a one shot, he makes a sinister smile and lets Riku go while he's going to give him something worse than death and see if he keeps up with that bravery. While Kidoin left, Riku immediately tries calling the ambulance but the officer apologizes for his plan, biting him back. Riku misunderstood what he meant with biting back and remembers the birthday cake and ate it. Riku of course enjoyed it since it was a long time he ate something delicious and thanks the officer. With the last panel of the officer crying tears of joy. Riku noticed the officer is getting very quiet and the gunshot out of the officer's stomach was leaking blood heavily. Desperately, Riku tries to scoop up the blood and tries to put it back in a officer's body but it's already too late riku even uh, telling the officers that he even saw the officer like a father figure but the reason kidoin let uh, riku live is to make it look like he killed the officer while well, while we as a reader find out that kidoin is actually a high-ranking general the next page is riku immediately getting arrested uh, on a ship deported while getting horribly beaten until they arrive at a uh, prison island but remembering kidoin's word for letting him live but he also remembers the officer's advice riku swore to himself he's gonna survive and find a man who puts him in this horrible prison all right so this is the end of chapter one which honestly seeing how much despair this character is going through and still has a real part to keep on living is honestly inspirational and makes me want to root for Rico even more that he managed to escape prison and find Kidoin. to me the author really sold well with its theme of never surrendering of no matter what kind of circumstances you're going through since the human spirit of wanting to survive is unbreakable to me i mean this story is a literally on the un underdog story currently it has like 40 uh, uh, english fan translated chapters and i'm hoping this video will give more eyes on this manga so that uh, more english fans are talking about it if you the viewer managed to give this manga a chance at the end of this video let me know if there's there's any other mangas out there who knows i might uh, make a video about it uh, my name is Aldin, and hope to see you guys again on the next video bye